This is video 24.4. We will be analyzing a system of a converging and a diverging lens. The question. A 30 centimeter focal length converging lens is 20 centimeters behind a diverging lens. Parallel light strikes the diverging lens. After passing through the converging lens, the light is once again parallel. We'd like to know what is the focal length of the diverging lens. First we'll analyze the converging lens. If the exiting rays are parallel, then the rays diverge from the focal point of the converging lens. That is, if we forget about the diverging lens for a second, and we imagine placing an object at the focal point of the converging lens to the left, then we will have exactly the ray diagram shown below. Light rays will come in and they will come out parallel. However, there's no object there, there's just the image that's created by the diverging lens. Which is why this implies that the image formed by the, by the diverging lens is 30 centimeters to the left of the converging lens at its focal point. And this is 10 centimeters to the left of the diverging lens. Now let's analyze the diverging lens. The incoming rays are parallel, then the object is located at infinity. Inserting that knowledge into this equation, keeping in mind that 1 over infinity is 0, we find that the focal length is equal to the distance of the image. We just said that the image is located 10 centimeters to the left of the diverging lens. So the distance to the image must be negative 10 centimeters, which is also the focal length of the diverging lens. It's negative as we expect because the focal length of, the, of a diverging lens is always negative. And that concludes video 24.4. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.